Today is called Maundy Thursday. This was the first official day of the Passover. It started in the evening with a special meal called the Seder. Jesus asked his disciples to go into the city to tell a certain man that they needed to use his house to prepare the Passover meal. And just like on Palm Sunday, everything happened exactly as Jesus said. Jesus used this time to teach his disciples we were called this meal the Last Supper. He knew that, he, that this would be the last time they were all together. Before he died, during the meal, Jesus told his disciples that one of them would betray him. They were each very upset by this because they loved Jesus so much. But there was one disciple who loved money more than he loved Jesus. Remember Judas, the one who was so upset about Mary wasting the perfume? He had decided to betray Jesus for 30 silver coins. He went to the religious leaders and they plotted together about how to arrest and kill Jesus. Let's check out what's in our egg today. The Last Supper is very important to us as Christians. We celebrate Holy Communion in church now to remember the Last Supper and what Jesus said. On that night, long ago with the disciples, Jesus picked up the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces and gave it to his disciples. He said, take this and eat, for this is my body broken for you. Then he picked up a cup of wine and thanked God for it. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take and drink, for this is my blood, which has been poured out to forgive the sins of many. Jesus said these things to his disciples because he knew that very soon he would sacrifice his body and pour out his blood on the cross. He would die for us and for our sins. Whenever we take communion at church, we eat bread and drink wine or juice to remember that Jesus died for us. Today you're going to read about this in Matthew 26, 17 through 30 and 47 through 50. Sometimes it can be easy for us to forget about Jesus when our lives get busy. We don't always stop to talk to him or thank him or tell him how much we love him. Jesus knew this about us because he was one of us. Um, this is why he told his disciples to do this in remembrance of him and why we try to do that regularly to help us remember what Jesus has done for us. <laughs> Wait, is this good? Mm-hmm. All right. You rolling? I'm rolling. Awesome.